Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 56 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. I just got back from a little mining expedition that I did, and a little bit of work uh, in the basement. You know, standard stuff. Uh, I ran out of slots in my ME interface here for my uh, alloy smeltery, so... I sneakily ran one down there. So we've got uh, a few more slots for auto-crafting in the alloy smeltery now um, to make more alloys. And the recipe I put in there, you probably can guess, I taught it how to make stainless steel ingots. Huzzah! There they are, stainless steel ingots from Modern Metals. Uh, just requires uh, two steel, one zirconium ingot, uh, and one chrome ingot, which we have chrome dust available for. We just have to smelt it up. And then we get our stainless steel. Nice. So we can peek over here and see this thing is running, making myself some chrome, and then it'll cook off and uh, make the other thing. The other thing I taught real quick off camera is uh, how to turn them in the metal former into plates, which means we can officially make a steel casing. Dun, 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 dun. So we need uh, titanium plates, osmium blocks, and stainless steel. So let's go ahead and just teach you because I suspect the steel casing is going to be a foundational part of everything that we do in uh, this, this mod. So let's get some titanium plates. Do you not know how to make titanium plates? You do. Okay, cool. Nice. I was looking for like a purplish color like the ingot, but yeah, that works. Um, and then we just need an osmium block, right? So is that neat? Osmium block, I suspect, is just that. At some point, it's like, I wish I could in place upgrade these. Like, like I wish there was like an, an upgrade I can click on the draw to turn it into a, uh, a, 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 um, you know, the one that makes it blocks and whatever, but uh, we'll get there. So for now, uh, let's just say, hey, here's how you make an osmium block. Cool. And now that we have an osmium block, we can make a steel casing. Sweet. And if I click on this, you ready? Oh, I thought it would work. Hold on. I need more titanium plates. I need them all in there. I forgot. And steel, three more of you. Now I can click on it. Hooray! We've got a trophy! It's that part of the episode where everybody yells at me for not having a trophy room yet. Yay! We need another trophy room. All the trophy room comments coming in. But we've just hit age 12, which is hype. That is cool. We've got ourselves a steel casing. Uh, and right along with that, we've got auto crafting of steel casings, which means now we can make as many mechanism things as we want, provided we have enough titanium and zirconium which I don't know how much we need. Uh, so, age of engineering, mechanical age, boom, completed. We've got it. Uh, mechanism has its own power system in this pack, joules. So you need to start with a heat generator to generate power and then can work towards solar, wind, and biopower, uh, which are all heavily tweaked. Later, you can use the gas burning generator, the turbine, and the fusion reactor for more power. Key things you can achieve with the mechanism are 5x ore processing and the digital miner, a quarry which can target blocks. Also, HDPE plastic is something you need later. Sweet. Now, uh, just out of curiosity, to unlock the Draconic Age, um, refined obsidian allows us to get Draconic Evolutions. Um, as you need a lot of Nether Stars, an automated weather farm with Mob Grinder is recommended. Then you can start making the most powerful tools and weapons in the game, as well as the biggest battery and energy storage. Sweet. For the big Draconium need, you might also consider making an R of Tools dimension for in which you can now unlock. The Dimension Builder is the first end game recipe and needs end game items from eight different mods. If you're unlucky finding a Mushroom, you may want to have a look at the Mushroom Soul Vial recipe. Cool, you give me a mushroom cell while recipe? That's neat. Oh cool, some mycelium around a cow gives me a mushroom. Neat, all right, so that's a thing to keep in mind, which I will probably forget at some point, but hopefully I will remember to remember it. Um, let's put our spacesuit away, because I don't know that we need this stuff right at the moment. Um, and let's just look at refined obsidian. Boom. Refined obsidian ingots come from the osmium compressor. Refined obsidian dust and that, and this guy uh, we get from the metallurgic infuser. I don't know uh, mechanism all that well, and I've had a lot of people recommending, so obsidian dust becomes refined obsidian dust if you give it diamond dust. Okay, fair enough. I've had a lot of people recommending that I take a look at mechanism uh, in my packs, and like I'm well aware of the mod's existence, um, and it does look like a cool mod. I just never really got around to getting the chance to check it out. So I'm excited to play it in this pack. Um, because I know a lot of people have been looking for me to do something like this at some point. Um, 
So hopefully uh, those wishes shall be fulfilled. Now, as it relates to a mechanism area, the real question therein becomes, where do we put all our, our mechanism issues? Like, I don't even know. Like, so mechanism has its own cable system, its own piping system, a logistical transporter of some kind. Not super familiar with it. I don't know if there's an in-game manual for mechanism, is there? There's a dictionary. I don't know what that... Okay, maybe. Maybe dictionary is an in-game manual? That would be cool. Let's see if we can... Uh... So it looks like we can use regular circuits. And a book. Doop, 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 doop. And circuit should be done by now. What is taking you so long, copper cable? You're out of power. Aha! There's your problem. Uh, memory card. Remember this happens every now and then? I gotta, I gotta get around to uh, making this not happen so much. And that should solve all your problems. Nice. One of these days, we will fix that. Uh, so now, we should have a circuit. Sweet. And a book. And this gets us a dictionary for mechanism, which may be an in-game manual? Okay, I lied. I don't know what a dictionary is. I was hoping it was an in-game manual. It might be, and I just don't know it. <laughs> um, so that's cool. Walkie-talkie, network reader. So there's lots of cool stuff in mechanism. Um, it's about time that I learned this mod, because uh, like I said, lots of people have been asking me to, to play it a bit. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of machines, and it has its own power system, apparently. Um, gas burning generator. So in order to make this... Cool. Enriched alloy needs a metallurgic infuser. That's probably one of the first steps. But remember, he said that... Um, we need to get power going first. So there's probably gonna be multiple machines and power systems. I don't, I'm assuming there's some kind of power storage as well. Um, so all these things are gonna need to come into play and we're not gonna be able to use our standard, you know, Ender IO stuff to, to, to power things. Um, so what I'm thinking is we should, first step is figure out where we're going to build all our mechanism machines. So give me a minute off camera uh, so that I can decide how I wanna do this. Um, I'm thinking, it might behoove me to tear down this greenhouse, right? The greenhouse is even working anymore. Oh, not even necessary anymore. I've got a lot of coal dust. Uh, I've got this stuff. This thing has just been kind of sitting here doing nothing for a while. So part of me thinks it might be time to go the way of the dodo. And uh, see you later, alligator, on that thing. Zoinks. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. And if we ever need this stuff to come back, we can bring it back. Uh, so let's whack this greenhouse. It's gone. We're going to uh, get a nice axe. Do I have no axes? Why do I not have an axe? I should have an axe. Oh well, we have an axe now. Yay for crafting things remotely. All right, I'll be back once I tear down this place. All right, so I've kind of got something I'm working on. Uh, multiple things at once, of course, because that's how I roll. It's a difficult life, but what can I say? Uh, this to this as a sag mill recipe. Oh, another thing that I'm out of space on. Let's get a new interface. Can you cook one of those up relatively quickly? Uh, sag mill is right here. Whoops, forgot that you were in there still. I was uh, building. <laughs> interface, go. Actually, you guys can go away. And sag mill we configure for push and pull on the bottom. And then we can do this, and then we can pop. Creates four obsidian with one powder. What is this? Oh, right, that's, okay, yeah, I remember that. Uh, I'm working on making stuff, as you can tell. So that should create obsidian powder that we're going to need for things in a moment. Uh, and then the other thing we need to make is obsidian plates with obsidian. And that can go into our metal former. The same place all the other plates. Oh, I'm out of plate space too. My goodness, I'm out of things and stuff. Uh, 
Uh, you are out of things. Is there anything I don't need in here at the moment? Uh, bronze plate, titanium plate, steel plate. I use a lot of these, don't I? Chrome plate, tin plate. I don't know the last time I used tin plates, but I use them for batteries. Uh, so I can make another interface. Uh, yeah. Let's make another interface. Where can you go, though? Short of going on top of the machine or in front of it. I think, I think, actually, you might be out of, you might be out of, what do we got going on here? Six of eight channels, eight of eight channels. We're out of channels over here altogether. That's a bad time. That is very much a bad time. Hmm. So for now, I'm just going to replace the tin plate. And we'll leave this in here, and we will do something with it later. We'll fix that later, I think. Um, so if I requested an obsidian plate real quick, that should be easy enough to request, right? It'll grind up the obsidian, it'll press up the plate, and that should be cool. It's a reason I'm doing all this, by the way. It's not a, it's not a reason I love, but I'm doing it, nonetheless. Uh, now's the part where you start working. Oh, right. No, 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 no. Plates are made in the compressor, aren't they? Oh, so we're actually good here. Hold on. Hold on. Cancel this. Plates are made in the compressor, so we're actually okay because these plates are not made in the metal former. They're made in the compressor, which is cool. So now I can request a plate. Sweet, nice. And then I believe that if I say nine plates, I guess that's also in a compressor? Nice. Gives me a dense obsidian plate, cool. And that also goes in the compressor. So now I should be able to do a compacting drawer. Nice. The only thing I need now is a reinforced chest, which is reinforced iron blocks. That's annoying. I don't even know how to automate these. Stone separator gets a calculator. There's an in-world calculator. All right, so let's figure out how this dynamic calculator thing works. I'm imagining it's just, okay, so it's it's pretty much like an atomic calculator, except it just works. That might be hard to, to automate. That might be hard to automate. This is pretty much your best bet for automating this thing. I think the only two recipes I need to automate for now would be cobble, stone, and wood. So if we were to, like the first slots that these go into are the top two, right? So if we made an interface, um, and we put this thing down in this area somewhere, because this is an auto machine, so it, it, it can go down here. I don't think it needs power, so that's at least a good sign. Um, where can I throw you that would make sense just from a logistical standpoint of yeah it makes sense that that block goes there uh for now i think our best bet would maybe be so you've got room let's, let's put you like here does that sound cool Um, and we want to put this in blocking mode, I would think, so that it doesn't push items in there. Um, and then the question is, will it auto-craft? Okay, so I might need to pipe out the side. I don't know if I need a paw wrench to set you as an output side. I don't seem to, so that's kind of a good sign. Um, so let's get a couple of these. We're learning how this mod works today. Auto extract and insert. So if I put 
this and this in there, will it auto extract this? Your extract always, your insert mode, uh, you don't seem to want to extract, do you? I wonder if there's like sidedness to this. Maybe it only extracts out the top or the bottom or something. Interesting. Uh, learning a dynamic calculator. So apparently there's a thing called a docking station. And if we got a regular calculator in here, uh, I think this would work. So let's try it this way. So docking station? Okay, cool. No calculators mounted. Calculator. Oh, hello. So this one does need RF now. Awesome. Um, which I'm sure we can figure out a way to get power into you for a sec. All right. So since now we need RF. So we'll put it there. That makes sense. Um, so we could put the recipe in here, but this thing's getting kind of full. So I'm thinking I want him to have his own interface. So you know what we could do? We could stick it in the bottom. Does that sound cool? Now the paw wrench. Alright, so that doesn't seem to do anything in terms of setting an input or output. Though all these sides do look green, don't they? I would think the paw wrench would change that. Is the bottom like a... Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> We're doing it live! Uh, where'd my calculator go? Oh, it probably... I don't know where it actually went. Where did my calculator go? To get sucked into something somewhere. Where did my calculator go? No, that range collector is filtered. Oh, uh, you should have landed somewhere. Maybe you went behind a wall. Magnet. At least it's not hard to make another one. So if we put you and you in there, can we item conduit you out? Interesting. All right, extract out the bottom. Today we learned. All right, so if you're extracting out the bottom, uh, then what we will probably want to do is put the interface here and then we will extract always active here and insert here. Does that sound cool? It's kind of annoying. Let's actually do it out the back. Yeah, I'm going to want to do this in the back here. Let's just make sure that we're not interfering. Okay, cool. So your extract always active and you'll be insert. And then the reason I want to do that that way is so that I can run into cabling underground here. So we should have some cable channels available. So wood plus cobble equals this, and that is in a docking station it's called. And I want to put you in blocking mode. Will this work? Reinforced stone. You actually are not working, and why? Eight out of eight channels. Did I max out channels on this line already? Oh, I did. There's your problem. This line has six out of eight, so I could tap into this line. Back in a sec. There we go. It's a little die wiry, but things happen, guys. 
All right, so now we should see reinforced stone as being craftable. If I want 10, you're gonna put three and three in here, start. Really? Really, docking station? Is that how you wanna play it? Urgh. All right, guys, now I've figured it out. Well, and by figured it out, I mean read the documentation on how this works. Because <laughs> it's not super apparent. Um, but I think we should be cool now. So what I'm going to do is do this. We're going to do this. So you're going to put the items into the chest. We will extract on green. Always active. So you will be an insert on green that's filtered to cobblestone. You, on the south side, will be an insert on green that's filtered to wood. And you will be an extract always active on green. And you will be an extract on brown always active. And you will be an insert on brown. Cool? Cool. So this should automate. Um, the only thing we have to do is get power over here, but that's uh, easy peasy. And then uh, we also need to run a little bit of cabling. Shouldn't be too bad. I've seen worse cable jobs in my life. Not a lot, mind you, but enough. All right, let's get our magnet out of here because I already messed up my... Uh, Crystallized canola system. Okay, it was just that one sitting there. That's fine. Put you away. So now, in theory, this should work. So if I request... So you guys today are getting to learn how to automate calculator recipes. Start. Yay, it works! I should put on blocking mode in this thing. Um, but that should be cool. All right, nice. So now, if I want reinforced iron, uh, reinforced iron block comes from reinforced iron, which is iron ingot plus reinforced stone. So reinforced stone plus iron ingot. And we should put this away, this, and these guys away. So let's actually craft one of these. So let's put you on the south can accept iron. You can accept this. If we put this and this in here, it should come together to make reinforce that, which is cool. So that is that pattern. And then reinforce blocks look like that. So now, hopefully, I can have a compacting drawer. Let's do it in here. Cool. Uh, so we need this guy. Do you know how to do that? So you need to know how to make a reinforced chest. Cool. So let's put this in our crafter. I don't know what's so special about this reinforced chest that we need so much stuff. Apparently this can accept speed upgrades, by the way. Something we might want to look into doing. This was supposed to be a mechanism episode, and it turned into how to auto-craft with calculator. So what's so fancy about this reinforced chest that it's so expensive? Oh. Uh, but that's how we make a compacting drawer. 
Um, so this is going to be somewhat of a long crafting recipe because that thing's kind of slow down there and I haven't put speed upgrades in it yet. So you're probably wondering why I'm doing all this. Um, I haven't explained that yet, have I? That should work. Might take a bit, but we'll get 10 compacting drawers out of this. Um, I've decided I'm going to... So I've made my mechanism room. Um, yeah, all that mess. Uh, I actually made my mechanism room. Off camera, in between. So I, I popped up a little new 9x9 here. It may need to be larger, um, but it's it's built in such an area that we can expand it as needed. Uh, you can see I've got room on several sides to expand it if we need a larger mechanism room, which I suspect we may. Because um, I know some mechanism stuff is multi-block. Um, so, and it, it occurred to me, like, to be able to link up, the best way to do that would be through this wall. And it also occurred to me, like, I really don't need this wall to be in a position where I can see it anymore. Um, and I said, well, then let's move our drawers around. And I said, well, since I'm moving my drawers, maybe we should compacting drawers some stuff. Uh, so that's where we're at right now with compacting. So what I'm going to do, and probably more so in between episodes now than anything else. Um, cool. I thought I put you... Okay, yeah, I did put you in, in blocking mode. Cool. Um, probably more so between episodes uh, than anything else. What I'll do is move this into like a basement type area. I've already kind of haphazardly been sticking drawers down here, and it's kind of a mess. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we might move that somewhere else. Some kind of, like this wall actually might not be a bad wall to stick all my storage door stuff on, and it can kind of be right next to my ME drives. So I might rearrange some of the storage in between episodes. But while we're waiting to do all that, boy, that was much more effort than I thought it would be. <laughs> I expected that to be a minor part of this episode, and it turned into a larger part than I thought. Um, but let's go ahead and actually look at making the first bit of mechanism. So uh, you need to start with a heat generator to generate power, and then we can work towards other stuff. So heat generator from mechanism uh, requires this stuff. So that doesn't seem so bad. I should be able to just make one. Sweet. We've got a heat generator. How does it work? How does it work? Oh, neat. That's cool. So the dictionary does stuff. I was hoping I could like put the block in there and it would tell me something. Uh, heat generator. Yeah, no idea what the dictionary does. It is not an in-game guide like I thought it might be. Uh, security public. Cool. Is there transferred? Neat. Cool. Jewels per tick. Okay. Uh, I assume it, it, you know, requires lava. That, that would probably be my first guess. Um, shift for details. L shift and apostrophe for a description. A generator that uses heat of lava or other burnable resources to produce energy. Seems easy enough. Um, what I do have, handily enough, is an ender tank. That is red, 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 right? Is that when I made it? So I should be able to make another ender tank. We have everything except the cauldron and the klein flask. But remember, I taught this thing how to make klein flasks. So that should be cool. CPU one. So you're cooking up some solarium. You've got an Enderman head. You're cooking up some vibrant alloys. Cool. So that shouldn't take too long to make a client flask for me. There we go. Crafting the Ender Resonator. Okay, looking good. Uh, so that means Ender Tank should be makeable now. Sweet. And remember, you can link multiple tanks. So that should be a nice lava tank for me. Beautiful. For now, I'm just going to teleport through walls. Eventually, we'll do something nice. So if I right-click this dude, you should fill up with lava. Cool. Fancy. So we've got lots of lava going in here. So I guess one of the first things. So you can do a redstone signal to turn it off, I presume. Cool. And I guess you'll fill up with uh, kilojoules. And there'll probably be some kind of energy storage mechanic. There'll probably be some kind of machines for processing things. Um, 
plans are to really heavily play with mechanism because I've really never given the mod much of a of a of a playthrough, and I would like to do that. Uh, so so absolutely plan to do, you know, a lot of playing with this mod. Let's also get some more obsidian real quick. Neat. So uh, one thing I want to test. Uh, let's turn you off for a sec. So you should be running out of lava now. I want to see if ro lava stops getting burned up when we fill up our internal buffer. That is going to be a big question. So some machines, as you guys probably know, that's enough obsidian for now, uh, will automatically shut off their generators, some mods, when their uh, internal capacitor is full. And some mods don't automatically turn off their generators when their internal capacitor is full. So uh, that's what I'm going to discover right now. So it looks like we're getting close to the fully full internal 160. Nice, it stopped making noise, it stopped using lava. So that's kind of a good sign. That means I don't have to do any complex automation around turning off the generator so that we don't waste lava. That's neat. Uh, let's let you flow into there again. And we've got the very first of a mechanism machine. Unfortunately, this episode did get sidetracked a little bit. So uh, I'm assuming that my drawers are done, seven of them. Uh, we are waiting on some more reinforced iron ingots. You need a lot of that stuff for these drawers. Um, what I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. I'm going to move my storage wall. And when we come back next episode, we should have a path into that room that's not requiring a staff of traveling. Just because it looks nice that way. And what we'll do then is uh, start working more with Mechanism next episode. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.